Hey Gateway, I'm Seth and welcome to today's Daily Dose. We're in the middle of a series talking through our 10 commitments for daily reflection uh, that we're doing in our King Jesus 2020 series. And so today we're on number seven. I just want to read it and then we'll, we'll dive right in. This is um, called being self-critical or we could call it the principle of the log. Um, I commit to giving meaningful attention to critiquing potential flaws in my own political ideas and instincts. So it's about um, critiquing my own flaws, not necessarily other people's. Now again, playing basketball, especially in high school, uh, one thing I didn't do growing up, especially in elementary school, middle school, is we didn't really watch any game film. But in high school, you start to watch game film, especially once you get to varsity. And I used to have, I had an idea of myself of what I looked like playing the game, of how agile or fast or smooth I was, both on offense and on defense. I remember my first time getting into the film room on a Saturday and watching game film and being shocked at how slow I was off the dribble and shocked at how uh, non-threatening I looked when I was trying to uh, keep up with people or, or particularly run. And I just remember leaving the first film session I've ever been a part of being a little bit like dejected at how uh, off I was on my own self-assessment. It wasn't until I saw myself on film and I was like, wow, that guy is slow. Uh, but that's, that's kind of the nature of our human condition is we tend to overestimate ourselves. We tend to judge ourselves by our intentions and others um, by their outcomes. And it's important that we as Christians recognize that this is also true for us politically, that it's so easy to be critical of everybody out there. And it's pretty difficult to be critical of ourselves. And this is what Jesus is getting at in Matthew chapter 7. He says, judge not that you not be judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you'll be judged. And with the measure you use, it'll be measured back to you. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but you do not notice the log that is in your own eye? This log in our own eye. How could, how could I not have seen that I was obviously the slowest person on the court until I saw the game film? Well, that's our, our, our confirmation bias, our, our proclivity to see ourselves as better than we are. And one of the reasons that we're able to even begin to see the log in our own eyes, other people lovingly point it out. And so if we want to be self-critical, one of the things that requires is interacting with people who disagree with us on various policies or political outcomes. And that will at least help us see ourselves, grow in self-awareness, and develop a, a healthy self-criticism that comes, that actually that produces humility, so that when we do engage with people we really disagree with, it won't be from a position of judgmentalism or self-righteousness, but actually from a position of recognizing that I don't know everything and I don't have a perfect thought on every political outcome. And so hopefully this being self-critical, this principle of the log, will make us slow to speak, quick to listen, and help us treat others less judgmentally. So Rem Shigewe, let's be a self-critical people, not trying to erase all of our opinions, but trying to hold them with appropriate tightness based on the amount of work we've done. All right, Gateway, as we reflect on these um, 10 commitments, let's seek to pray and really consider what it looks like to be a holy church in this season. Thanks so much for tuning in.